Wow, I just received my K13 Ancient Three Ages Genome Wide Report from LM Genetics. Wow, it is the absolute best DNA ancestry results since I started this genetics journey in 2014 when I ordered the Ancestry Kit. Nothing comes close. Um, I want to congratulate uh, Nicola Capelli and Lucas Makuga at uh, LM Genetics. They did a, a bang up job here putting this uh, report together and uh, kudos to them. And I'm going to leave a link to the report so you can order one yourself and uh, help this great burgeoning company, LM Genetics. And uh, they're just absolutely doing a fantastic job and um, I highly recommend them. Um, now it's going to take some time to parse through these results. Um, it's broken down into three different ages, uh, late, late Neolithic to Chocolithic, late Bronze Age to Iron Age, and late Antiquity to early med Medieval. And uh, it says 300 BC, but I believe that's, that should be 300 CE, um, uh, a, a common era. But uh, it does say 300 BC to 900 AD and uh, or CE, Common Era. Um, but uh, regardless, uh, the uh, this report is absolutely amazing, and uh, it it shows I'm Ashkenazi, a fully Ashkenazi Jew, and it shows the Ashkenazi Jewish connection to the ancient Levant and uh, the Israelites. They are uh, the Ashkenazi connection to the ancient Levant and the Israelites is crystal clear in these results, as you will see. So, and I love, I love this is the PDF. I really like the presentation, um, the visuals. Um, I've been told they're, they're going to need even more uh, visuals with the different cultures. And uh, so I'm going to just browse through it real quick uh, and show you my results and go over some of the ancient populations that I get close to genetically. Um, and again, this is based on the year uh, um, I've, you can either uh, provide your raw DNA file or you can give your uh, GED match kit because this is based on the Eurogenes K13 updated oracles. And um, um, I, my kit was based, it was not, not based on my, uh, I did not use my ancestry, uh, my 24 ancestry, ancestry kit, but um, uh, I used my Nebula uh, genomics, um, my Nebula genomics um, combined SMP kit, uh, which I was able to uh, figure out finally how to convert the CRAM to the BAM file and then download that file and then extract, use the whole gene, genome sequencing extract, WGS extract, which is a whole process, but I finally got it done and, you know, it. It's way more, it gives you way more SMPs. So uh, I think the results are a bit more accurate than my Ancestry 2014, 2014 results. So let's start, let's get started here. So this is, uh, um, we're gonna start uh, the, the latest period here, uh, or, uh, late antiquity to early medieval. And uh, I'm gonna scroll in here and I'm gonna show you the Anmonte calculator results and I get 33.4 Greco Levantine Lycia. Now, Lycia uh, was the, uh, according to Wikipedia, was a geopolitical region in Anatolia and what are now the provinces of Antalya and Mugla on the southern coast of Turkey, bordering the Mediterranean Sea and Berber province inland. And so it's known to his history since the records of ancient Egypt and the Hittite Empire in the late Bronze Age. It was populated by speakers of the Luwian language group. Written records began to be inscribed in stone in the Lycian language, a later form of Luwian, after Lycia's involuntary incorporation into the Achaemenid, Achaemenid Empire in the Iron Age. At that time, 546 BC, the Luwian speakers were decimated, and Lycia received an influx of Persian speakers. Ancient sources seem to indicate that an older name of the region was Alope, ancient Greek Alope. Um, so we're talking about, yeah, the Luwian, Lycian, Greek, um, the, uh, the Lycian League under the Roman Protectorate, and, but, and the Lycia uh, Byzantine Eparchy, 
um, Lycia is a Roman province before that. So, but we're talking about legate antiquity to you know the uh, early medieval period. So, um, you know, uh, I, we'd have to speculate. Uh, you know, uh, Jews spread out um, across the Mediter Mediterranean basin. Um, you know, after the uh, during and after the Jewish Roman Wars and during other periods, and many Jews. Uh, had settlements in Anatolia. So I'm just speculating here as to why I get this Greco Levantine Lycia. But uh, 17.4 early Jewish Damascus. So we're talking about the uh, Jew Jews in Syria. And then 14.2 Germanic Jutes, uh, which I believe uh, are, uh, are Danish or uh, from England. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where that comes from. Um, possibly, you know, the time or time Ashkenazi Jews were in the Rhineland. That's where Ashkenazi was founded in the Shum cities of Mines, Worms, and Spire. So maybe it was from that period. Um, and then 12.8 Sharta Ginian, Ginian, uh, Lily ba Baum. Now this is kind of interesting. Um, now, this is the modern uh, town, Italian town of Marsala, Marsala, which was uh, uh, in Latin is Lilibam, and it's located in the province of Trapani, Trapani in the westernmost part of Sicily. Uh, Marsala is most pop Marsala's most populated town in its province and the fifth in Sicily. Uh, now, it was built on the ruins of the ancient Carthaginian city of Lilibam, and includes in its territory the archaeological site of the island of Machia. An ancient Phoenician town. The Phoenicians were uh, native to uh, Lebanon, uh, to, uh, Tyre, from Tyre. And uh, they were the same ethnic stock as the Canaanites uh, of the Eastern Mediterranean. So um, they said the modern name likely derived from the Arabic uh, Marsa Ali, Ali Ali's, Har Ali's Harbor, or possibly uh, Marsa Allah, Allah, God's Harbor. Uh, so, yeah. There's some uh, Phoenician uh, connection there on, on the island of Sicily from the Carthaginian period. Um, so I get 12.8 of that. Then 7.4 7, 7 Celtic late Gaul Hel Helvetia. Uh, Helvetia is, uh, was uh, Switzerland. So, uh, you know, that's, again, that's Helvetia. So that's, um, you know, Central, Central Europe, um, just north of, you know, uh, up in the Alps, just north of Italy, so um, near, close to Milan, uh, Switzerland. So, you know, that makes sense too. That's the Jews, a lot of Jews, the proto Ashkenazi Jews migrated north across the Alps from Italy. So, there you go. And then 7.0 Hellenistic Egyptian Alexandria. So, yeah, I mean, there were a lot of Jews in Alexandria. I mean, I think uh, at some, one point there were more Jews in Alexandria than there were in Judea. There's a massive Jewish community, uh, uh, Jewish population in Alexandria, Egypt, in uh, Hellenistic times. Uh, 6.4 Balto Slavic Suwaki. Well, okay, uh, great. Suwaki is located in Poland. So uh, my some of my ancestors were Polish Jews. Uh, Suwaki is a city in northeastern Poland. Um, so there you go, a uh, little Polish there from our time in Poland. Um, you know, because we migrated eastward from, uh, you know, Central Europe to Eastern Europe. And then I get, uh, interesting, I, I, this is very consistently, I get uh, trace results from uh, South America. Gu uh, this one it says Guarani, Guarani, which I think maybe is an indigenous Paraguayan, Paraguayan uh, Native American tribe. Uh, but sometimes I get uh, indigenous Brazilian or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I don't know where it would come from. Um, a lot of, uh, or actually probably much, all, pretty much all Eastern Ashkenazi Jews get probably about 1% East Asian kind of results. Um, and uh, a little bit less for uh, you know German Jews, or if at all. But uh, so I don't know if this was from Eastern Europe. Uh, a lot, you know, uh, Jews were in Spain uh, before they, you know, migrated to the Rhineland. Um, was it from Spain? Was it from Poland? I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. So, and then Nordic Finnish Karelian, uh, 0.6, trace result of Nordic Finnish. So, and then 
Uh, these are my uh, distances. And Greco Byzantine Thessaloniki is, uh, is uh, I get the least distance to. And then after that is Roman Tarentum. Uh, Roman uh, Tarentum is, um, I believe, I th that is actually in what is modern day uh, Apulia. So, uh, yeah. So, um, um, let me just see. I'm going to, I have the site here. I'm just trying to access. So, just give me a minute here. And, no, that's not it. Okay, so, um, Tarentum. So that is um, located on the southern coast of Apulia, Italy. It was a Greek and then Roman city, controlling a large area of Magna Graecia. And, and I'm reading from the website Ancient EU. Uh, heading the uh, Italiot League, Tarentum, with its excellent harbor, was a strategically significant city throughout antiquity. Thus, it would play a pivotal role in the wars between Pyrrhus and Rome in the 3rd century BCE, and again during the Second Punic War, when Hannibal occupied southern Italy. But little remains today of ancient Tarentum's buildings. The city's museum boasts one of the largest collection of Greek pottery in the world, and has many fine bronzes, gold jewelry, and floor mosaics. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, Tarentum ter it was ter or Terrace, it was first known in Greek, was a colony founded by Sparta in the 8th century BCE as part of the wave of Greek colonization of the region, which would become known as Magna Graecia. So this is basically, this is, uh, you know, indication of, uh, you know, Greek settlement in southern Italy. And then Roman Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse is uh, in Sicily, and there's Char Chartaginian uh, Lilibom again, uh, Roman Liguria Genoa, Roman Etruria Eritium, Greco Levantine Lycia, Hispanic South Cordoba, uh, so, you know, Andalusia, Southern Spain. Uh, Idrisid Sultanate Fes is um, so the Idrisid dynasty so, uh, was also called Al Idrisian Siyun. is an Arab Muslim dynasty that ruled in Morocco from 789 until 921. So, uh, yeah, and we're talking about Fez here. So, in, in 808, Idris II founded as a capital for his little kingdom, the town of Fez, which is modern Fez. Um, so that might be the sultanate there, uh, uh, the reference there. Uh, so, and then Greco, late Seleucid, uh, Paragamu. So there you go. And um, and then we have the Admix two here, uh, 50 Celtic, late Gaul, Helvetia, 50 early Jewish Damascus, Admix four. 25 Celtic Late Gaul Helvetia, 25 Early Jewish Damascus, 25 Greco Levantine Lycia, 25 Roman Liguria Genoa, Northern Northern Italy, uh, and then we get 1% uh, minimum, uh, 31 Greco Levantine Lycia, 21 Early Jewish Damascus, 15 Celtic Late Gaul Helvetia, 11 German Germanic Jutes, 9 uh, Ch Chartaginian uh, Lilibom. Six Hellenistic Egyptian Alexandria, five Balto Slavic Slovakia, there's one uh, American South Guarani, Nordic, and one Nordic Finnish uh, Karelian. So let's go to Late Bronze Age and Iron Age. And so this was the uh, Israelite period, during the Israelite period. So what do, what do I get my results in uh, the Anmati? I get 47.8 early Jewish Israel. So there you go, They're almost half uh, Israelite. Um, and then 20.6 Ligurian Ital Italic, uh, northern, northern Italy, 12.2 uh, Nordic Sweden, uh, 8.6 Scythian Carpathian Ukraine, 7.6 Minoan Greece Crete, 2.0 Vedic India, not sure where that comes from, maybe uh, the Rom uh, Romani uh, at some point, uh, Ashkenazi Jews and Romani uh, and were close, uh, live close to each other in Europe, so who knows. Uh, 1.0 Kura Axis Araxis uh, Armenia and zero. There's a Merit Indian result again. 0.2 Merit Indian. And uh, my distances, uh, least distance to Paleo Balkan Thracian, uh, and then Mycenae uh, in Greece, Peloponnese, uh, Minoa in Greece, Crete, Italic tribes. I I think that means means to say Canaanite, uh, maybe Canaanite. Uh, Semitic farmer, 
Um, early then early Jewish Israel, Ligurian Italic, South Levant Amorites, early Berber Tamzia, and Celtic Urnfield France. And then let's go to uh, yeah Admix two. We got Celtic Urnfield France fifty, early Jewish Israel fifty, uh, fifty early Jewish Israel Admix four uh, twenty five Ligurian Italic. 25 Scythian, Carpathian, Ukraine. And then we get 40 early Jewish, a 10% minimum. We get 40 uh, early Jewish Israel, 20 Nordic Sweden, 10 Ligurian Italic, 10 Minoan Greece Crete, 10 uh, Mycenaean Greece Peloponnese, uh, and 10 uh, Paleo Balkan Thracian. And then 1% minimum, we get 46 early Jewish Israel, 17 Ligurian Italic, 14 Nordic Sweden, 12 Minoan Greece Crete. The seven Scythian, Carpathian, Ukraine, two Vedic India, one uh, Celtic Britain, and one Kura, Ax, or Axis Armenia. And finally, we're, uh, we go way, way back to late, uh, to, uh, late Neolithic uh, to Chocolithic. And uh, so, yeah, my ancestors were in the Levant for uh, a long time, way back to the Neolithic Chocolithic period. And, uh, you know, the pre Israelite, before they became Israelites. Uh, because Israelite, Israelite culture arose out of the Canaanite culture, which are the Canaanites are the indigenous people of the Levant region. And uh, so I get 39 farmer Levantine Israel in the Monte calculator. Uh, farmer 33.6, farmer Anatolia. 14 corded ware Chechia. 12.8 Nordic uh, Aj Vid uh, Sweden. 0.4 American Kennewick man. And 0.2 ancient Bengali. And then... Uh, my uh, distances, uh, Farmer Anatolia, Bell Beaker, Italy, Kutsateni, Tripilia, Ukraine, Farmer Levantine, Israel, Farmer Alpine, Otsi, Farmer Semitic, Georgian, Jordan, Farmer Central Europe, Farmer Mediterranean, Megalithic Culture, Germany, Bell Beaker, Germany. And then let's take a look at the uh, Admix 2, 50 Court of Ware, Germany, 50 Lar Farmer Levantine, Israel, Admix 4, 50 Farmer Anatolia, 25 Farmer Levantine Israel, 25 Nordic Ajvid uh, Sweden, 10% minimum, 40 Farmer Levantine Israel, 10 Cauc uh, Caucasus Karaxis, 10 Corda Ware Chechia, 10 Corda Ware Denmark, 10 Farmer Anatolia, 10 Farmer Mediterranean, 10 Nordic Ajvid Sweden. And finally, 1% minimum, 39 Farmer Levantine Israel, 34 Farmer Anatolia, 14 Corded Ware Chechia, and 13 Nordic Ajvid uh, Sweden. So as you can see, um, you know, it's pretty clear the, uh, uh, I'm again, as these are just my personal results. I'm one individual, but I'm also a uh, Ashkenazi Jew. And so, you know, I'm an average Ashkenazi Jew. So if you, you can take my results and you can certainly apply them to uh, the average Ashkenazi results, some are going to get a little, you know, very different percentages, but I think it clearly shows the um, Ashkenazi connection to ancient Levant, to ancient Israel. And obviously we were in Europe for, you know, I don't know, a couple thousand years. So obviously we picked up admixture uh, from Italy, from, you know, Central Europe, from Northern Europe, from Eastern Europe. That's obvious. But we also retain a good amount of our original ancient Levantine um, Middle Eastern admixture. And that's still there after all those years. And so thank you for watching.